Here are my top 10 musical wankers. Top 10 wankers in the music business, artists. Now, let's, let's kind of start this out. For those of you that don't know, what's the definition of wanker? What's British slang? And I'm reading from the Urban Dictionary, of course. An idiot or a fool. Get away from me, you bloody wanker. Someone excessively and annoyingly pretentious in her faults with a strong likelihood of working in the creative industries, especially new media, very high populations of wankers are to be found in certain areas of London, including Shoreditch, Hoxton, and Shoreditch Twat. <laughs> now, Okay, if you're visiting this video because of the title, congratulations and welcome. Now, before you say it, okay, I know a third of the comments or 25% or 26% of the comments are gonna say, who's the wanker? This guy with the Phil fucking <laughs> Collins t-shirt and the hat is the wanker. We all have our rights to our opinion and if you feel that way, so be it, okay. Uh, Remember, this is entertainment. This is a fun exercise of, of the top 10 wankers in music from my point of view, this point of view. Now, the whole wanking thing came about for me, well, aside from, oh, let me, let me finish here. Um, someone with f faintly so -so sociopathic lack of regard for other people, see also arsehole, arsehole, a general term of abuse, someone who masturbates, guilty, as charged. And I bet you a lot of these wankers in my top 10 have masturbated at least once in their life, except one, except the first one I show. <laughs> but may, well, we don't know that. And who am I to say? I'm just wanking off here on this video. Now, this is one man's opinion, one personal opinion. By all means, uh, tell me if there are other wankers. If you disagree with one of my top 10 choices of wankers, uh, I, I get that, and that's all right by me. Now, this came about because the most watched video I did is when did Eric Clapton become a wanker? And I got a lot of support on that, but it wasn't about me getting support, and I didn't do it as a clickbait ad. I did it based on a news story and a bit of a history, and I expressed my opinion. Now, there was a follow-up video, and it was an excuse of me uh, showcasing uh, bootlegs and the history of bootlegs in my bootleg collection. So I'll link all those below if you like. A lot of people in that video said, I'm the wanker. So be it, your choice, your opinion, you know. But um, I appreciate the uh, support and I appreciate the, the views and the subscribers and uh, thanks for watching, seriously. So let's get on with this with my personal top 10 musical wankers. Okay, coming in at number 10, Mike Love. <laughs> Mike Love. Uh, the, the beach boy with the least amount of talent, doesn't play an instrument, has a mediocre voice. Oh, he does have a good voice, okay. During this period of pet sounds, he was really dumping on uh, the excessive creativity of Brian Wilson. He sued Brian Wilson many times. Now, Having a sued members of your band does not make you a wanker necessarily. Obviously, we know the story of the Beatles and countless other artists suing other artists. But Mike Love, over the years, has become quite the wanker. The Hawaiian shirt, okay? He did hang out with the Beatles, uh, with the Maharishi, uh, during uh, that India excursion, which was uh, interesting. Uh, maybe because he wanted to be less of a wanker. So I'm uh, choosing at number 10 on this great, great album by the Beach Boys, Mike Love is number 10. Now, oh, he could have been a number one wanker for just riding Kokomo alone. So, Mike Love. Number nine, and what can I say that I didn't say in that entire video, Eric Clapton. I, I love er, uh, the music of Eric Clapton, especially this album, especially Green, Blind Faith, Layla. Um, you know, maybe it's a temporary relapse from 10 years of sticking a needle in his arm when he didn't have to and when he had to and he's telling people don't. So that's one thing. I got a lot of comments on that video telling me, well, I didn't even mention the racist rants. 
I'm not going to condone what he said, obviously, and I think that's scary as hell and ridiculous. He was a drunken asshole, uh, anti-immigration, doing that rant, and I didn't even include that in my video. That was brought up by a lot of viewers. Also, a lot of viewers brought up that, you know, and screwing George Harrison's wife. Well, I am not going to defend him there, but he did... Uh, it was influenced by Patty, beautiful woman, uh, and wrote the song Layla, and George Harrison obviously wrote something uh, about her and uh, several other songs. But, um, you know, George was going through a rough time and was cheating on Patty at the time, so I'll, I'll give it to him. And, and George and Clapton remain friends to the end of his life, and, and Clapton did put on and, and uh, produce and organize the concert for George, another show I intended. So I'll give him that. But the number nine wanker is Eric Clapton. The number eight wanker. Now, I refer to this as the Wanker Brothers. Uh, and obviously, uh, those of you who know what this album is, because it, it says right there, it's Oasis. Uh, this is the album they did with Morning Glory, Wonderwall, Champagne Supernova. I quite like this record. I saw them at a small club on their very first tour, the Bottom of the Hill Club in San Francisco. Tiny place, holds a couple hundred, um, at, right as they first came to America. And they never were as big here. But now, Noel and Leem, I refer to again as the Wanker Brothers. Uh, I'm going to just call out Leem, because Noel has sort of redeemed himself over the years. He's self-deprecating now. He's hilarious as hell on interviews, and I, I like him. But Liam's still a friggin' wanker. The Wanker Brothers, you know, they, they were always pontificating how, you know, they love the Beatles, which is great. I love the Beatles. I'm not a musician. I'm not copying the Beatles. I mean, even their song Wonderwall was named after a soundtrack that George Harrison created. And uh, they tried to sound like the Beatles in a way, a little bit of... Uh, so they're not as original, even though they were huge and massive popular in the UK. Uh, the United States it was more lukewarm to them, but Liam, <laughs> Liam is still a friggin' wanker. So number eight is Liam Gallagher of Oasis. Number seven. No, it's not Eric Clapton again. I, I, I think it would be really kind of cruel to show Eric twice, but it's, it's amazing that two out of the three members of Cream are wankers. Ginger Baker. Do I respect the dead? There are several artists in this list who are dead, I think. A couple of them, maybe. We'll see when we get there. But Ginger Baker. If you haven't seen the documentary, Beware Mr. Baker. I've seen it three times. It's fantastic. That'll prove his wankiness. Now, Cream got together in 2005 at the Royal Albert Hall for that series of reunion shows. I went to the second show of the series. I flew to London. I love Cream. I never saw them back in the day. Eric Clapton was a bit of a wanker using a Stratocaster guitar, but that's a whole other thing instead of the Gibson SG. But Ginger Baker's always been a wanker. And a lot of, a lot of the reason for this reunion tour, in a way, was to get Ginger Baker some uh, money because he was broke. And I think he walked away with $5 million from the tour, this tour, I mean, the uh, this series of concerts. They did it in Madison Square Garden for several nights and uh, the subsequent uh, CD, Blu-ray, music release uh, of this uh, album uh, cover. Um, and he subsequently bought all these Arabian horses in South America, uh, in South uh, Africa at his uh, ranch. And he subsequently squandered all that money like in, like in two years, three years tops. Uh, but such a wanker. You got to watch that uh, video. Do we miss him? Uh, great drummer. Now, let me separate this. Let me just have an interjection here, a couple things. In that video I did on Eric Clapton, a bunch of uh, people thought it was disrespectful for an American to use the term wanker. It's not appropriate. It just, it just doesn't work. I respect your opinion. I've been saying wanker for since 1978 when I first went to the UK. So my guess is those of you who are under 40 two 43 years old have used wanker a lot shorter time period than I have. So I'm allowed to use the term wanker and I love the word wanker. It's a great, you know, we all, we say kindergarten here. It's a German word, you know? So we, you know, we trade off around, the, you know, we say wanker, you say dude, but actually I don't know if it works. UK, uh, British people saying dude, it doesn't work. Is 
Van Morrison. <laughs> um, the Prophet Speaks. Van, I love Van Morrison. In fact, one of the last shows I saw before the lockdown was Van Morrison played a week at, at uh, Yoshi's, a small kind of bluesy jazz club in Oakland, California. And I saw him live and he was fantastic. He does bluesy stuff. And but but his he's been a wanker even before this anti-vax stuff and before his pissed off thing that he wants to get out there and not have people show vax cards and and a lot of people commented that um, I'm the wanker because I'm following science or I'm following the pharmaceutical industries I'm following healthcare the vir the virologist that I uh, spoke to about this who I know uh, and doctors and anyway that's not what I'm here for just is pure wankerness he's been a wanker. <laughs> and a bitter kind of guy, grumpy old fuck, right? Uh, but I love his records. Now, this later period is interesting. He's doing a lot of blues and soul and R&B stuff, and he's still great. Isn't It's not as wonderful as the Astral Weeks and Moon Dance and even the Healing Game in that period or the Celtic stuff. Um, I think he's a brilliant artist, uh, tempestuous artist. <laughs> this is the perfect cover to show for the uh, Wanker video. Uh, but um, I love them. I love Gloria. I love, um, what can I say? Wanker Van Morrison. Coming in at number five, Phil Spector. Now, another dead uh, genius. Wanker to the hilt. Not only did he uh, kill a woman playing like Russian roulette or playing around with his friggin' guns, he was a wanker producing these great wall of sound records. He pushed these artists. He verbally abused these artists. He worked with John Lennon uh, on some albums and George Harrison, and he had a gun in the studio, waving a gun around uh, with John Lennon when he was recording. Uh, wanker to the hilt. I love his songs he produced, the records he produced, uh, the production. He was a brilliant genius. I think, as I recall, the youngest millionaire ever, first youngest millionaire, at a, became a millionaire at a youngest age, first guy to do that, uh, self-made millionaire, I should say. Uh, Phil Spector, wanker. Coming at, at number four, I don't have any of his records anymore, and that is Kanye West. Kanye West, egotistical, brilliant producer, record maker. Again, with these wanker things, I'm not taking away or disregarding in their talent because they're all talented in their genres and their fields. All of these artists, they're, they're, they're popular. And again, I like a lot of these artists and I can separate the wankerness in some cases uh, to the music. So Kanye West, going up and trying to tell Taylor Swift she didn't deserve the award she got on stage. Talk about a friggin' wanker there. Going on stage when Beck wins Album of the Year. Now, Beck's a genius. Beck's a genius musician. Morning Phase, Odelay. Uh, I think he's one of the most interesting original artists. He does take from other sources and other genres. Uh, I've said this many times. I think uh, Midnight Vultures, that album, is like the best Prince album Prince never made. Love Beck. And telling Beck or Taylor Swift that Beyonce should have got this. Hey, I'm all for protecting and standing up for your woman and your love of your life. Uh, or, but come on. <laughs> come on. Don't be a wanker and do that in front of everyone in that respect. Big, 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 big Kanye West wanker. Number four. Coming in at number three. The third most popular wanker from Massey's point of view, <laughs> Don Henley and Glenn Fry. And uh, all respect, I know we lost Glenn Fry several years ago, but you know, the two of them, okay, they're kind of the foundation of the Eagles, but you know, over the years, they kept pushing artists out and ran this like a dictatorship. And you know, you could go to the Lennon-McCartney thing, and they didn't give George Harrison a lot of do either. And But it was a different dynamic there. They've always been the wankers in terms of that. Now, people love to 
hate the Eagles and they love the Eagles. Biggest selling album of all time right here. Uh, Eagles greatest hits. I'm glad that uh, Jack Tempshin, is that his name? Has two songs on here. Probably made a living for the rest of his life. Yep. What do you write? Take it easy and already gone. Uh, and also Jackson Brown and... So at least they made some money, but you know, between all the people they pulled out from Poco and pushed back in, and I tell you, the best thing that happened after this with Hotel California is Joe Walsh giving them some balls again and, and kind of standing up for themselves and running away with a different sound and, and giving them uh, some, uh, some rock and roll chops finally. Now, I do like the Eagles and I do like these records. Uh, not my favorite. If I'm gonna go country rock, I'll go with the Breeder Brothers or Graham Parsons or many other bands, but um, huge. But Glenn Fry and Don Henley are a w w wanker duo, like only second or actually above uh, the Oasis brothers, those wanker brothers. So this is number three wanker in my top 10. The number two wanker in Mazzy's top 10 list of musical wankers is Morrissey. Now, I don't cite him for being a vegetarian, the meat is murder thing. I have friends who are vegetarians, pescatarian, vegans, and all the power to you. But um, when you attack people, I'm stopping a concert in the middle of a show because you smell people making burgers at a festival, or you walk off stage, or you don't show up. I mean, aside from that, the anti-immigration stance, uh, he's said so many times in the UK, uh, kind of uh, it get, gets into that whole right-wingy thing occasionally. And I love his record. I love his solo records, even to this day. I think this is the perfect wanker photograph to show of Maurice. His solo greatest hits, the very best, are fantastic. The Smiths is one of my favorite bands of the of the 1980s. <laughs> But he is such a wanker. No wonder uh, Johnny Marr doesn't want to work with him anymore. It's probably mutual, but um, wanker, 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 number two, Morrissey. And now we're at number one. The top wanker in music is an artist that I only have one song on a comp from the 1960s. And the number one wanker is Ted Nugent. Cat Scratch Fever, people love that song. People can separate the music from the man. Wanker, wanker. However, the Amboy Duke song, Journey to the Center of Your Mind, I think it's called, fantastic psychedelic garage song from the late 60s. Love it to pieces. Wanker in so many ways. Now, as I said early on in the beginning of this video, you know, we all have our different politics and not everyone uh, who's watching me agrees with my leftist center politics. And I wear it on my sleeve in a way, <laughs> wear it on my chest. Actually, I don't think Phil, uh, as I said, Phil uh, Collins is not a wanker. I just really don't care for him once he got off that drum stool in Genesis. But, um, what a wanker, like just his anti, again, immigration, his racist bur outbursts, his, his ongoing thing about Obama not being uh, born in this country, not being an American. It's okay to be politically different in terms, is, from my opinion, in terms of policy. But not this thing of lies and making shit up and everything. Um, this is what the Amboy Dukes that's, I like them, so I can separate that. But I don't uh, own any Ted Nugent records. I used to hear them in the record stores I worked on in, in the late 70s. But I think uh, Ted Nugent, for so many reasons, so many friggin' reasons, is the biggest wanker in music to this day. And I don't even care that he jumps from helicopters with a bow and arrow, hunts down, you know, is a hunter. You know, teach his own on that. I'm not even going after him for that. People like to hunt, you know, if, if you want to use your weapons for that type of stuff, but um, wanker, wanker, wanker. Anyway, those are my top 10 wankers ranked, rankers, ranker wankers. 
I appreciate you for watching. Uh, this is all for fun. Let's like lighten up. Some people take this stuff so friggin' seriously. But uh, thanks for watching. And if, and if you have any wankers that you think should be on this list, list them below. If you think some of the wankers I chose should not be on, on my list, that's fair too. And I'm curious why you think so. Again, one person's opinion. Let's hear yours. Thanks for watching and Mazzy loves you.